Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to trade Bitcoin capitulation so you can get more profits than about 90% of other traders. You are gonna use this knowledge for years to come, so please make sure to either save this video or take notes because this is where the millionaires are made in each Bitcoin cycle. So there are three main parts to this tutorial. The lead up, how do we know a capitulation is coming? Capitulation, how do we know we are capitulating and when to buy? And finally, the aftermath, dealing with emotions and holding on with diamond hands. This is a challenge I have for you guys to prove that this works. Open up a new account on either one of these exchanges to keep track of your profit. If you're new to crypto, buying capitulations will make you massively more income than day and swing trading combined. Having one exchange for capitulation and transactions will show you the true reason why experienced traders choose to buy so much crypto during these massive events. So here we have a Bitcoin monthly chart going back all the way to 2014. And you guys can see four main capitulation points on this chart. I want you guys to focus on two main aspects of the monthly chart. The first one is this green line here. That is what's known as a 20 month moving average. And usually after breaking down below this moving average, we tend to have a bad time in the market and a capitulation usually follows. We have the first one over here in 2014, 2015. We have another one over here right after we broke down below it in 2018. The COVID dropped down below right here on 2020. That was kind of an abnormality, but it still followed the same rules. And then over here, this one did not play by the same rules. And this was all the way back here last year of 2021. And this was in part because governments around the world gave free money to individuals, which a lot of people put into cryptocurrencies to earn more wealth and hopefully uh, get out of poverty, if you will. The second thing I want you guys to look at here is that we normally come pretty close to the blue line here, which is the 50 month moving average. We tapped on it in 2015 and in mid 2015. We came very close to it in 2018. We broke down below it in 2020 and we did not come anywhere near it in 2021. Now let's look at the weekly charts because there are a few things here that are crucial to you guys understanding when a capitulation is coming. The first one right here is you guys will notice on this weekly chart back here in 2015 for that capitulation, we had what's known as a death cross. And a death cross is when a lower moving average crosses below a higher moving average. In this case, it's the 20 week moving average crossing below the 50 week moving average. Happened right here in 2015. It happened here as well in 2018. And if we go to the next slide, you'll see it happened in 2020, but it did not happen in 2021. It actually just happened here in 2022, foreshadowing some bad moves there. Okay, but that's the first thing. The second thing here is you can actually see we come into close contact each and every time with the 200 weekly moving average. First in 2015 again, going over here to 2018 again, and then what else? 2020 again, but not actually happening in 2021 again. Now, the one last thing I want you guys to understand about this is you guys are starting to see volume on the bottom of your charts. You notice that volume is very, very small right before we hit a major wall, a large wall of selling. That represents capitulation. Once you have a lower amount of volume, followed by a massive, and I mean massive red candle here, this is a weekly chart of course, massively, massive week of selling off, that's a capitulation, that's when you're most likely gonna start buying crypto for these larger swings. Going over here to 2018, larger red wall, followed by downward volume, large red wall, that's capitulation, okay? That's when you're gonna start buying. Going over to the next two over here from 2020 and 2021, capitulation followed by a death cross, came down to the 20 week moving average, excuse me, 200 weekly moving average, a uh, little bit different here as well because of this is COVID. But what do you know? Right down here to the 200, a lot of selling pressure, not much moving coming on. Then we hit that wall and then boom, capitulation. That's when you guys are gonna buy. In this example for 2021, we did not come into contact with the 200 weekly moving average, but you saw lower volume followed by a huge red candle. That is capitulation. That's when you're going to start buying up for another leg up on the market. So this is capitulation on a daily chart. You're gonna see downward movements, but you're gonna see the volume shoot up for about one or two days. That's really what you're looking for. That's when you're most likely gonna be starting to buy right here. But this symbolizes the, the height of capitulation right there. You can see on this time over here as well, low volume, longer red bars. And what you guys are gonna see here is capitulation actually happened before we found the bottom. So what does that tell you? You could buy here, but then it's it's crucial that you guys keep on buying because you don't know how far you know these prices are going to stay that low. You guys want to buy as much as you can in this time frame because this 
down the road is going to make you the best money because you're not going to find many good buying opportunities after the capitulation has completed. Going on over to the next slide, you can see right here in 2020, we had capitulation happen very fast, low volume, huge red volume candle, right? Capitulated, and you only had a few days to buy back in before we ultimately started to rocket back up for the 2021 rally, all right? So that's what's really crucial here. You have to be able to buy at these levels. Same here in 2021, we bombed right here, but then we had a long drag of going down here. And you guys, if you were with me, we were buying up this entire pro. We were buying up everything right here because we believed we were going to have another minor rally. There are two main ways to buy capitulation. The first one we've touched on it just a little bit. You're going to be waiting for that long red volume candle bar there. That's going to be a huge signal that says, hey, it's a good time to start buying into crypto and you're going to be buying a bit more here, a bit more there, right? And the other way you guys can look at this is if you guys just wait for us to buy at the 200 weekly moving average, sometimes we go down below it, but it's usually a good opportunity for you guys to buy along that level after we've capitulated or during the actual capitulation itself, all right? So that's really the first way you guys are going to be trading capitulation or buying capitulation. The second way here is a more longer term broad way of buying in. A lot of you guys might think of this method as just, you know, 10 bucks a day in crypto. Every single time we break down below this 100 weekly moving average, again, 100 weekly moving average, a lot of people will put in anywhere from 10 bucks to 100 bucks a day into crypto as much as they can afford, and then they will be buying every single day until we get out of that 100 weekly moving average zone, okay? In 2015, 2014, you guys saw we were down here around 300 bucks for a while with Bitcoin. No, not many... Um, Retail traders are buying at this point. They really didn't really care about it. They thought it was like a waste of money at that point. Experienced traders were buying up as much as they could during these levels because once we got back above that, guess what? Then all of a sudden we went from $300 all the way up here to $17,000. And that's when a lot of people first started getting introduced to crypto in the first place. Then what do we have? We came down below this level again. And guess what? It was the same cycle. Everybody buying, 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 buying until we popped up above. Everybody took some profits up here. We came back down. Some of you guys made a bot right here. Some of you guys may have actually um, uh, bought down here. You guys wouldn't have bought in right here though for that simple fact that we did not have a death cross and we did not break down below the 20 month moving average. That's why I told you guys about that before talking about capitulation. So without those two, you're not even gonna be buying at this zone, okay? And then of course, we had capitulation over here, but we never actually broke down below the, the 100 weekly moving average. All we had was the long volume bar. We didn't even have a death cross with the weekly charts and things like that. That's why this one was so much um, more risky if you guys were buying in, but people just still did it nonetheless. And of course you saw that big pump, again, fueled a little bit by stimulus checks out there given by multiple governments around the world. Now we're heading to breaking down below it again here. And that's where the next level of capitulation is most likely going to be coming down to. Because if we go back to the last few slides here on the weekly charts, we just had a death cross just right here, right? And if we go back even more, we also just broke down below the monthly chart right there last month in uh, April, right? Now we're in May. And I think all we're doing right now is making a small wick just so we can fall down again. And then that's where capitulation may start. Again, may start. It may take a week. It may take a few more months here. Now, after buying, this is where, you know, it really comes on to you guys to not be stupid or crazy or emotional. After you guys buy and you guys are buying as much as you can, you know, within reason, of course, you guys have to be willing to just hold. You guys just have to hold. It sounds easy, but sometimes people freak out a lot, which is why I told you guys originally to open up a new exchange with either BitGit or KuCoin because... After you guys buy, you guys really don't have to do much. You guys can just leave that aside and stick to go, you know, go back to day trading and swing trading. That is perfectly fine. But if you guys keep on looking at that portfolio and it goes down and down and down an extra five, an extra 10, 15, maybe even 20% from what you started buying in it, you guys will feel bad and you guys may panic and sell at the worst time right before you guys have a massive market move. So that's it, everybody. Hope you guys enjoy this. Please make sure to subscribe and thank you for following the channel. Talk to me nice. Talk to me